We're off to a bloody great start. Yeah, so, one year later, I'm back in the UK, off to a rough start already. Aren't there supposed to be like owls here, like carrier pigeons? Or Call Hedwig. Yeah, it's, well, it's a, it's a rather large piece of mail. Um, these guys drive on the wrong side of the road. They don't have Walmart. I can't buy all the fish from Walmart here because they don't exist. <laughs> Their shoe sizes are wrong. And they call french fries chips, man. Who does that? <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> That's trash footage. That <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're on our way to the Aqua Show here in Telford in the UK. This guy we went on a trip around the UK to fish stores with, he was supposed to do a video and then he lost the memory stick, so he's brought us on a professional with him this time. <laughs> professional. <laughs> so, yeah, so coming Don't do you do your English <laughs> accent to me. Right. <laughs> Sorry, we're gonna... Alright, so this is what's up. As Matthew just mentioned, last year we came to the UK, we did a 50 fish stores in 5 days series here with Fritz and Senai. If you don't know about Senai already, it's an English company started by Matthew, aka British Will Ferrell, that makes these super cool and affordable aquarium monitors. They also just came out with this new product called the Spectra, which is a better version of a PAR meter that also shows you where your spectrum should be. For aquarium people, trust me, this is actually really cool stuff. So anyways, with Matthew, Sean Snails, and this other guy named Ed on the Edge, which we still don't know where he came from. But we went from John O'Groats to Land's End, the entire west coast of the UK. We had the most amazing time and got the most incredible footage. But on the last day of the trip, the SD card holding everything got corrupted. And, well, what happened in the UK that week stayed in the UK. We felt like we had unfinished business though, so one year later, thanks to Fritz and Senai, we've come back to finish what we started and make it even bigger and better than before. Our secret weapon this year, super affordable hard drives to back up all of our data on. Also, we got Cat, a British feline who is responsible and literally here to make sure we don't f this up again. Sean, should we go gander at some stuff? Yeah! Take a gander. You can't, you can't just go gander. You take a gander. Sean, where's Cat? This is your territory. This is your turf. This show is us, my turf. Show us the coolest stuff here. Okay, okay well we've just walked away from our stand and that is the coolest thing. <laughs> that was a pretty smart move. a massive black girl, look at that. Uh, Our YouTube channel, it's Catfish. Go like and subscribe, Catfish. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you want for your octopus? He's not for sale, I'm afraid. He's not ours. I think we're also completely missing that there's a clear shark over here. Do us. Crystal clear, uh, racing. How much do you want for this? How could we get this on the plane, George? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's actually a very big show. There's a lot of cool stuff here. Not gonna lie. All right, I think these are parrotfish. Staring contest. This man has stingrays and an Asian arowana. What's good, boy? What's good? My oh, man. This is only the second time I've ever seen an Asian arowana. We're not allowed to have these fish in the States, as many of you know. It's got a microchip. It's got a bomb. Wait, what yeah. do you mean microchip? It's much like you'd microchip your cat or your dog. Wait. This has got an actual microchip implanted in it. Protected species. So every fish has to come with a microchip. 
Does he do Apple Pay? Like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> to purchase the entire tank, you can throw it on the Fritz card. Um, <laughs> Mike, please don't fire me. This is my last move at Fritz. Bought a four thousand dollar air horn. <laughs> That's exactly. awesome. What so about these stingrays? Yeah, these are all bred in Europe, actually. You got a P14 there, which is extremely unusual. Then you got your albinos. Oh, I see the bottom thing. There's an air one out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's cutie right here. Yes, yes, I want to take you home as well. It's gonna be hard to get you a green card. There's not a lot of times where I'll stop and truly just be like in awe of a tank, but I have no words for this. Look at this. Yeah, and this is a new launch at the show. We've got an aluminium frame. Aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> okay, who aquascaped these tanks? This one was done by a man called Steve Rhodes. So is he, he here? So he's not here, no. Yeah, so this is an unusual scale. This is a mountain scene in miniature. So he's, this took him two days. He handcrafted this and he's individually planted each, each section. He's glued on the different sections to the rocks. I also think what is so cool about this tank is these little rocks. Some are bigger than others. It just, it looks completely natural in here. That's it, that's what he's created. It's like a going back in time sort of, yeah. Right. It's hard to create that feeling like you say. Okay, Telford, I see you. You got some cool stuff here. Stuff I haven't seen before. I think we just have spotted the, the farmer man himself. Puts rocks and plants together for a living. I found my favorite rock builder. Here it's he here. Is. Underwater flower ranger. Correct. So. You didn't aquascape any of this? Nope. What are you even doing, man? How are you paying your bills? Like, and we decided we'll go to we'll go to Norwich, hey, Cambridge. Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to film a video here. Are you? Oh. Yeah. Scones, and I'll be there. Do you have any requests? Bangers and mash. Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I don't know if you guys heard yet, but we're starting a new group of aquascapers, and we're calling it Bangers and Mash Collective. <laughs> yeah. I'm in it. Yeah, we just I'm added actually the, the, the spot. captain of the team. <laughs> That's not true. It'll <laughs> see. I think I want a pair of glasses like those. Everyone in this country seems to own the same pair of glasses. Yeah. Hotter we ones. call it the Harry Potter. Yeah. The Hogwarts Express. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Yo, I'm posh AF right now. You look like you just walked straight out of Cambridge. I have to catch the golden snitch. Wait, show me your wand. <laughs> what are some terms that I can say where he needs to pick up ladies here? Would you want an aquatic based one? Of course. I'd frag that. <laughs> That's a good one. Are you looking at my polyps? Do I swell your scully? Would you like to see my conga eel? <laughs> Let's just pretend I didn't no, hear that. that. Alright, so we're gonna head out. It's time to get this trip started. And they're off! Yeah, everything was going fine until, um, until right about now. Man, are you sure you know where you're going? I don't know, my Google says this way. Matthew had booked us an Airbnb for this first night, and uh, I wasn't feeling good about it. I mean, would you, if you were sleeping right next to this haunted looking graveyard? This is it. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Okay. let Matt choose this place, but we're in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Guys, we need to get out of here. Why? What else is wrong? Yo, so this was like super messed up, but we decided to stick it out and sleep together in the same room and hope that the bears or the old lady running this Airbnb didn't eat us. Good night, George. Good night, Matthew. Good night, Sean. Good night, Matthew. Good night, bears. <laughs> Somehow, we were all alive in the morning. So, 
that made my day. We took a quick picture with the lady who ran the Airbnb, and then got out of there as soon as possible. But before we left, she was actually really nice, and she ended up letting us keep one of her bears. 